morning <clears throat> good morning welcome to horse retirement adventures today just got back from my brother jack's house so i'm just fishing at the pier because i was too lazy to go get my boat which is you know that's my normal so i'm fishing at the community pier where i usually catch fish the reason i'm here is because the tide is low and it's getting ready to start coming in and that's the best time to catch redfish right in there right there if you watch my videos you've seen me catch them out there before it's a beautiful morning i'm not going to hit that sun because it's bright we got the ambulance coming i don't know what that's all about but actually it's the fire department probably because my fishing is going to be super hot today ah, that's a good one all right more to come all right since the tide is low and slow i'm gonna start off with a carolina rig with a small egg weight because the tide is hardly moving and that way i can feel the bite so i'm gonna throw right underneath that uh pier that little dock area right there give it a shot pretty confident so i'm gonna hold on to my pole i don't know if you can see where i just threw it or not but there we go I'm just gonna hold on to that for a little bit. I didn't get it exactly where I like to go, but that's all right. It's the first cast of the morning. Oh, oh, and I just missed a fish. Whew. All I got left is the tail, but that's okay because you don't want to catch the fish on your first cast. I'm gonna throw it out there, which is on the totally opposite direction of where I wanted to go. So that's two bad casts right away. So I want to get those out of the way. See if anything gets that tail. I mean, that's the best part of a shrimp anyway. For people, I don't know about fish. But fish are people too, so. Okay, see if anything wants to eat that. Now I'd have to put a light shrimp on. It's a power walker. It's like I can't talk anymore. Pull out. I think I might have gotten me a big fish finally. Could be a red. I hope it's a red. stupid fish on there. Yep, it's a red. Red fish! Red fish! Got my handy dandy. Oh, extend on my net. I didn't see him. It's okay, he's still here. <sighs> right there he is. Mr. Redfish. He's probably going to be 16, 15 and a half. He's got some nice dots on him. Real pretty fish. Put some water in the in the cooler after I take him off. Okay. Hook him right in the bottom of his lip. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. If a fish has a tongue, that's where I hooked him, right in the tongue. Alright. Pull out. More to come. Not as big as the last one, I don't think. Oh, boy, well, he's fighting. Oh, you know what he is? A whiting. That's what that baby is. White team. Oh, I gotta get off my butt. 
Hopefully I can get this out of his mouth without killing him. Anyway, that's a whiting. Good size whiting, so I might just clean him too. Probably gonna have to, because I don't think he's gonna make it when I take that out of his mouth. So that's a whiting. Oh, sorry. And he smiled the hook, so I gotta take it out. Okay, more to come. Paul out. No. Just had a dolphin come right, right there. I don't know where he's at now, but yeah, he just came up right, right between those. Oh, there he is. Oh man, I just missed him. Yep. Ah, gotta see if I can get him on my camera. He was right there. There he is. He's saying hey. Hey, brother. He's saying hello today. Usually, if I had a, like a mullet or something, I'd yeah. throw for him. Feed him. Yeah, but. I don't know where he's going. It might be a nice red. Looks a little reddish. I didn't get nothing. Thought I had a fish, but I had a stick instead. And I got him too. Look at that. Pull out. Chubby little mangrove. He's hungry. He's chubby looking. Pretty fish. Yeah, I know. Just showing everybody. Look, I think he's pregnant. Or she's pregnant. So see him. He's gonna have little baby mangroves. That's okay. That's what we want. A lot of baby fishes. Got something off the top here. Ooh, I don't know what it is. The way he's running, it's probably a shark. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that might be a redfish or a jack, jack trip, or a stingray. Ugh. I hate these stingrays. Hmm. Okay, pull out. Got a crab. Yeah, I do. He's a big one, but I'm not crapping today. Whoo, that's a big crab. Whew. Tell you what, if I was crabbing, I'd have been mad about that. Cause that was a champion crab. I'm talking champion. Big. Big crab. Well, hey, thanks for watching Horse Retirement Adventures. Uh, about ready to be done. Um, only got two big redfish. Caught a bunch of small ones I didn't get on video, but that's okay. Thanks for watching. Everybody stay safe. Remember, we are on a terrorist advisory worldwide. So, mind your surroundings and all that other stuff. Protect each other and hug your kids and your wife or your husband brother or sister whoever we want to hug somebody all right i'm gonna go home here's my two fishes they're still alive just running around in my oxygen tank so i'll be going home cleaning those putting them on ice and uh, have them for dinner probably tomorrow <laughs> sounds like a good dinner to me beautiful day still you can see how high the water is now it's way out there in the uh out in the weeds so we're at high tide right now fishing has slowed down immensely my whole shoreline is gone 
It's okay, it was a beautiful day. I think it's like 69 degrees out right now. A little wind, beautiful. Had a nice quiet four or five hours sitting on the pier relaxing and uh, interrupted only by a couple of people coming over to talk to me. And that's okay. I didn't, uh, I didn't shoo them away. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, hopefully I have some more videos shortly. Paul out. Hey, welcome back. I'm going to try something that I usually don't do. That's clean my fish with this fillet knife. That's right. A regular fillet knife. I usually don't do that because I really don't. I'm not that good. Get this ready. There you go. Ow! Don't ever pick up a blade by the by that way. Just don't do it. Alright. Give it a try. I bled these fish, which you're supposed to do. Um, so I'm going to see if, if that does anything. Because I'm going to eat them tomorrow, I think. Right down the old spine. See me cut the wings off that bee? That's right. Okay. These are pretty tough fish too. They're not as tough as uh, sheep's head. Had a brain fart. But they're tough. Okay, it went right down the spine. Like right there, so I got all the meat down to there. I want to come out below his belly and try to get all the meat I can possibly get without screwing it up like I just did. So now I want to try to go this way with it and finish it up. As you can see, this is probably why I don't do this that often. Because I really am a lot better with the electric knife. But sometimes you just want to do something different. I wanted to try to get ouch, try to get more uh, meat this time around. Still going down the spine. Out the butt. Down the bone. There we go. Down the old rib cage. It's a little slower. But I wanted to try to get more meat than I usually do. There we go. I did a pretty good job on that side. Not terrible. Not really good, but not terrible. All right, here's one. Let's see if I can finish this one up a little bit better. That's pretty good, don't you think? Not bad. We'll use these tonight for uh, crabbing. I think we're gonna go crabbing tonight. So I'll use those guys for crabbing. All right, well, thanks for watching me uh, do a bad job on that. I think I'll go back to my electric knife. I got one more fish to clean. <clears throat> Only got two reds today. So I'm gonna get this clean. Thanks for watching, appreciate everybody. And uh, have a great day, have a great weekend, Paul out.